Hi, welcome to Garden Guns. It's uh, It's been a while since I've shot a video. It's got to be well over a year. Um, I must admit, I did think I'd get a few more done during lockdown, but apparently I sat around and ate cake and drank beer instead. But anyway, enough of that. What am I here to talk about today? I'm here to talk about this little bad boy. Uh, the Sig Air, Sig Sauer branded P365 CO2 blowback pistol in four and a half mil steel BB. I think this is a blinding little pistol, a uh, bit of a spoiler there. Um, I think it's great as a training tool uh, and I think it's really, really good for those uh, younger members of our family or those with smaller hands. Basically a, a good way to get people that might not have shot before shooting and uh, basically teach them good gun handling technique. Um, and on that point, let's have a quick look inside the box and uh, see what you get. Standard cigar packaging, so cardboard outer with a plastic inner and ooh, struggling a little bit there. Let's get in. What I particularly like about the SIG packaging is unlike quite a lot of other manufacturers, uh, SIG don't heat seal their, uh, their plastic inners. Um, they basically leave it so that you, all you do is pull the top off. So no scissors, no knife necessary, anything like that. Really nice and easy. So I think there's a dog running around and neighbor's dog is running around so if you hear a bit of a barking I apologize but anyway or well, you see a dog running backwards and forwards uh, what else do you get inside the packaging you get a little baggie of BBs you get your allen key for co2 removal Ooh, just you get instructions and then lastly you get the pistol Ta -da! and here we go so, the pistol itself, it's a, a metal slide with a polymer grip, it's fairly heavily, of polymer plastic, fairly heavily stippled. I don't know if you can see the Sig Air, Sig Sauer branding, not Sig Air, Sig Sauer branding on there. Um, yeah, it's, uh, from what I understand, it's fairly authentic and it replicates the, uh, the real steel version pretty darn well, apart from the safety catch. I don't know if you can see the safety catch. Yep, yeah, there's Bear. Uh, there we go. Um, I believe the real steel version doesn't actually have a safety catch. Uh, it's an aftermarket mod that you can add to it, but um, thankfully on the CO2 version, our version, it does. That's one of the reasons I think this is rather good for training, because it teaches people good discipline straight out the, uh, out the bat. So, what else do you have on here? So other than the safety catch, you have your magazine release catch. Magazine. You have a slide lock. Uh, let's lock the slide. And the slide itself, it's not a, it, it, it's a full blowback, but the slide itself doesn't lock fully open. Um, it's sort of a, a third. But uh, still, nonetheless, it's a working last round hold open, which is great. I really, really like that. Um, you also have the slide release catch right here. Um, and to strip the gun down, you move the slide release catch all the way to the forward position. Pull it all the way back. Lift the back up. Sit there and then just take the slide off. Spring comes out and there's a little washer. Oops, I've dropped. There you go, washer there. Uh, be careful not to lose that. To reassemble it, it's just basically the opposite of taking it down. So spring goes over. Before I do that, why would you want to, uh, why would you want to field strip this other than basically just to have a look at what's inside? Well, uh, quite a few air rifles and air pistols come from, from overseas and they travel over in ships so they have basically a, uh, a transit protection sort of anti-corrosion uh, lube or, or, or finishing inside the barrel um, so when you buy a new rifle it's or a rifle or pistol it's always a, a good idea to run a pull through through just to try and clear out that transit uh, lube so uh, you know make sure that you get maximum accuracy out of the uh, out of the pistol itself pistol or rifle so I always try and remember to do that. But anyway, as we said, right, the reverse of this 
is springs back in place and it literally is just straight in oh, there we go pull it to the back drop and then it goes forward move the catch to the front and there you go job done um, one of the other things I really really like on this is I don't know if you're going to be able to see this properly but hopefully that will give you some idea I can't see it on the screen there we go bit of a scary sight for me but the sights themselves hopefully they will uh, show on the video the sights themselves are a rather rather well thought out I find them nice and easy to acquire with the two white dots and then the green four dot unlike the real steel version um, they're not luminescent so they don't glow in the dark um, I, I believe on the real steel version they do but uh, I mean I don't really think you need him to glow in the dark for, for what we would be using this for. I'm not going out shooting cans at night with this. Um, I'm normally messing around with friends uh, and their children, trying to teach them how to shoot tin cans at sort of 10 paces with it. So, which is where this, this little pistol really, really shines. So, uh, we've taken it down. I've shown you the sights, safety catch how to strip it. Um, now let's load up a CO2 and some BBs and then do some shooting. Okay. Oh, I can't even get into the plastic package. Typical. Oh. There we go. So, Alan Q out. Okay, so when I'm loading a CO2, I don't drop it straight down like that. There's a little, um, well, there's a piercing pin in the bottom of the of the magazine, or some top of the magazine. Um, I'm always worried that if I just let these things drop down, they'll bend it or, or basically damage it somehow. So I just generally slide them in from the side like that. And then with the nuts, I always try and start it off with my fingers so I don't cross thread it because invariably they're either made out of plastic or a fairly soft alloy, there we go. And you stand a very, very good chance of cross-threading that. And if you cross-thread it, basically means you've got to buy a new magazine. So here we go. Let's fire this up. So I tighten it up to a, basically where it's getting a little, there's a bit of resistance. And then I move it all the way around until it hisses and then Keep going until the hissing stops. There we go. So, once it's stopped hissing, you don't need to crank it down any further because if you do, there's a good chance you'll damage the seal in the top of this. Uh, and if that does happen, then it's not going to seal properly, which means you're going to end up with a CO2 leak and you're going to have to buy a new mag. And if that's the case, that's uh, 30 pounds, I believe, which isn't so bad, but um, yeah, it's not really an expense you want to have. But anyway, so how do we load the BBs into this? Well, what I really like about this one is on the slide, it's got a position over to the right, as you're looking at it, which locks the slide catch down. And then on the side here, you've got a little, uh, uh, look at this, look at this, not me. Look on the side here, you've got a uh, another catch which you can pull down, and then I just tip, take my BBs, basically make a little lip, and then I just tip them, tilt the magazine backwards a bit, and then I just come on, tip them in. I tend to find that the uh, the tray makes a good BB catcher. I use the little plastic tray that this comes in. And then, you've got a fully loaded magazine. Oh, the one thing remember to do is take the, move the slide back up so that it puts the BBs under tension. Otherwise on this one, they have a habit of falling out the top, which I have done repeatedly on many occasions. Anyway, right. This gun is now ready to shoot. So I've got about 12 BBs in there, which is the recommended amount. Um, safety catch is on. I'm gonna grab my goggles, goggles, safety glasses, and I'm gonna move further up the range and plink at some cans. Here we go. Back in a minute.
Right, so here we go. Safety goggles, oh, safety goggles, safety glasses, goggles. Really would think I was in science class or something. Right, safety glasses are on. Magazine, oh, there goes a BB. Magazine goes in. Racket, safety catch off. Let's see. That's it, out. I'm gonna have another load. I'm gonna put another 12 in. Give me a second. <laughs> so, back. Here we are, reloading. I didn't bring the box, so I'm probably gonna pour BBs everywhere now. Let's see. Get the tilt on, ooh. Too many. Okay. There we go. You see, they come flying out the top. So I've probably got, yeah, that's 12. Okay. okay, magazine in. It's like catch safety and check. You want to see the gun, not me. Right, I reckon this is probably good for about three magazines worth out of a uh, out of a CO2. So um, I'm not going to go again because, yeah, you don't just want to watch me shooting. But uh, what do I think? Well, I think this little pistol is uh, is 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 pretty damn good. I think um, for the money. Um, I think it's amazing. I think Leicestershire Air Guns are doing it for 134.99 with a uh, small tub of BBs and uh, 10 CO2. And I think so. If you put a, you put a. I think they'll do a spare mag. If you buy the spare mag with the gun, they'll do the spare mag for 30. So um, if you do that, then basically let's get rid of these glasses. Um, if you do that, then basically you're looking for 164 quid you're getting an awesome little blowback pistol, a really, really good replica of, of a real steel version, um, with a snappy little blowback for slightly less than a Gen 4 Glock. And you're getting that second magazine. And I must admit, you saw how quickly I ran through those first 12 shots uh, and then the second 12 shots. They go really, really quickly. So you really, really should invest in that, uh, that second magazine. I, I think it's highly worth it. Um, that would make shooting this a whole lot more enjoyable, um, having that extra extra capacity. Um, yeah, as I say, for a training tool, I think this is uh, I think this is fantastic. Um, it's a great little back garden plinker, as you see from the video. It's thwacking those cans reasonably hard. The box says it does 295 feet per second. I reckon that's got to be fairly spot on. So um, all in all, yeah, I think this is a little blinder. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Stay safe in these rather crazy times and um, I look forward to making some more content for you. Um, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed watching.